In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts from the Gun Bunch offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button because my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. One of the other things that I wanted to let you guys know about is I actually got a new cell phone number. If you look in the top left hand corner of your screen, you'll see my new cell phone number and it's 208 218 six nine zero zero so if you have any madden questions you can always feel free to text me another thing that i wanted to let you know about is our text message playlist that we give you is basically every single week we break down um something in the game very very in depth about an hour long we give you a full scheme whether it be on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball and this last week we broke down a one hour and ten minute video all about the cover four match defensive meta that you're seeing in competitive matches Madden. And so if you want to get access to those exclusive tips every single week, all you have to do is simply text the word Madden, M-A-D-D-E-N, to my new cell phone number 208-218. 6900 and I've got it all set up there where basically it will shoot you uh, the playlist as soon as you text that word and so text Madden uh, to my new cell phone number I would appreciate it okay guys we're talking about the gun bunch today and we're talking about a specific setup um, for how you use this um, specifically against cover four quarters um, which is a very very good defense and I wanted to share with you today how you can basically beat it uh, with one simple play. You don't even, I don't even think you need to make any adjustments to this play. And this is in the New York Jets offensive playbook. Now, in my opinion, um, the New York Jets is probably, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a toss up if you're running gun bunch right now. You're either running bunch from New York or you're running bunch from Cara, or, um, or Seattle. So either one of those, but you either way, you wanna have your best slot receiver here in the right uh, right slot right there. And you're gonna see that we're gonna use the play Jets Dig, okay? Now, all we're gonna do uh, with this setup is relatively simple, okay? All we're going to do is we are simply going to put the circle receiver here on an out route instead of a flat route. Now, let me just show you stock what happens here. You see that if you just run this play as is, you actually can kind of glitch it out anyway. As you can see right there, the problem is if your receiver isn't the fastest receiver, that's where you can run into a little bit of issues. So basically what we want to do is we want to try to basically glitch out that le that left side, or I'm sorry, that bunch side safety. So we can do that with a variety of different things, okay? One, basically we're gonna leverage our tight end and we're gonna leverage our outside, outside receiver circle there to, to do this. So we're gonna put the X receiver on an in route, the circle receiver on an out route. And what you're gonna see is those two routes in conjunction with one another, typically we'll get this over the top here. Um, the biggest thing that you wanna do when you throw it is you want to swerve catch your receiver inside and out, make a user catch, and that's gonna help even more uh, with the glitching out of this guy. Now again, the reason that I like to use an in route and an out route to these two receivers, and you could even cross them if you wanted to, but the reason that I like to use those little five yard routes is because it really does make it a nice little simple thing that you can do to easily get this over the top because what's gonna happen is this this is gonna also allow you to fit in with the rest of the play. Okay, so you can you can have a play that actually fits with everything else that you're doing and you're still able to basically glitch this thing out uh, for a one play score. And again, if you have a gunslinger quarterback, it's very easy. All you're gonna do is once once the um, once Devontae Adams gets over the top there, you're just gonna pass lead it outside. Now, if you wanna save yourself some of the motion snapping, you can do a little baby motion snap right here. You'll see that we'll get a little bit more separation because we don't get hung up as bad, uh, but you can see there. Now, another thing that you can do is, another little simple thing that you could do is simply streak the tight end. That's all you gotta do, just streak the tight end. I like to put the running back on the left on an option route, uh, typically against mismatch type of coverage shell here. Um, and you'll see that, and of course, we're going to take a little throw out of sack, but you'll be able to beat this coverage relatively easily. Again, with that motion out route as well. Um, quarters is such a glitchy defense, especially against Gun Bunch, that one little thing can break it, as you can see here, like these motion outs, um, these different things. And obviously, you have your, your backside option route to the running back will pretty much always beat it. 
Another thing you could do is you could curl your tight end. Something as simple as curling the tight end here, and you'll see again he's going to roast him over the top. You got separation, and you just lob it over the top, and you got a big play to Devontae Adams. So that's another simple thing that you can do is just curl the tight end, out route Devontae or uh, Tavon Austin here, and you'll see that he'll just split them. That safety always does that where he kind of like basically takes like a step and then he doesn't know what to do. So you're going to be able to, to have a lot of success with this. Um, another thing you could do is you could basically run a slant flat combination just like that right there. And you'll see again, you're going to get that little movement by that safety. That movement is really the key. And as you can see, sometimes they'll drop it, but most of the time you'll get that. Um, you'll literally get that wide open uh, for a touchdown. Another thing you could do is you could, you know, run a curl route to the circle receiver here, uh, and you'll see there you can basically uh, flop, you know, flip flop them. And, and really what it comes down to is who do they have where and what do they have them doing. So let me show you that route combo again. Um, but the, basically with these wiggly fades are really, really glitchy. Um, there's a lot that you can do with them. But anyway, what you'll see here is again, I'm going to have this kind of front right here. Um, and, and you'll see, I mean, this because we've got that route, then when now we can pass lead it up into the inside, and Devontae Adams is going to have a pretty good chance at getting over the top of the defense. Um, so you'll see if the tight end goes inside and the circle receiver goes outside, right, that changes who guards the, the slot. You see in this example, Tavon Austin, or uh, not Tavon Austin, but the safety would guard the slot. However, if I take the tight end and I put him on a five-yard out, and then I put Tavon Austin on a curl, now the outside guy is gonna to have to go guard him. You see right there, and you can pass lead it up into the inside and get a pretty good opportunity to catch it. Now, if you were gonna do the second version of this, I would recommend go ahead and uh, put Devonte on a simple streak. But as you see here, when you put him on a streak, it does change who guards him. So that's something that you have to understand. Um, so there's a lot of things with this beater that is really important for you to really kind of understand. Uh, another thing you could do is if you don't want to use the out route, you could use the in route. And there, there you'll see, now you really glitch it out. As you can see right there, the safety gets lost because he doesn't know who to guard. And then the outside guy doesn't know who to guard either. And you kind of leave two really two defenders in no man's land with something as simple as a curl route to the to the slot here i mean you can even see like right here um same exact thing is going to happen and again depending on if the safety if the safety squats you throw inside if the safety rises up then you go outside that's kind of the the simple pass lead trajectory that you want to do with this um and as you can see, I mean, you're gonna be able to, to, to really roast this. And really the reason you wanna use an in route and not a drag route is because an in route is a technically a route that has uh, a vertical stem. And what that means by, what, what that means whenever I say a vertical stem, that means that he is going to, uh, basic, basically what that means is um, he is going to draw the quarter's coverage onto him because they see that the, the game sees that as a vertical route as you see right here once again going over the top uh, for another one play touchdown you see how consistent that is against the quarters coverage but anyways guys that's a little bit about gun bunch now if you want to get the full gun bunch uh scheme that is available in my text message membership so literally all you have to do is simply text the word madden to my new phone number which is 208 218-6900. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on our stream this evening at 10 p.m. Eastern time.